Shalom and welcome to Tzimitz of Torah. This year is entitled Pasha's Bet Hanan, demanding just the right amount. Right after the Asaf Tibrot, Moshe rebukes the Bnei Yisrael by saying Va'at to the Berlino that Bnei Yisrael said to Moshe, "You speak to us, not Hashem. It's too much for us to." Hear directly from Hashem. So why does he use the word at you in a feminine? So it says you weaken me. You weaken me when you ask for me to speak to you. Because you had an opportunity to hear from Hashem. All you said to Dibram. Instead, you asked to hear it from me, from Moshe instead of Hashem. And the shame on you. The next Pasuk says that God says that their request was legitimate. So why did Moshe rebuke them if it was a legitimate request? So the Sifte Chachamon Rashi, the Ramban, point out that Moshe thought it was too, it was legitimate for them to go ahead and push themselves, and they should have pushed themselves to you directly from God, and they just needed that extra effort. While well, uh, God says not true, it was really, really too much, which brings us to an unbelievable question. Any time that we demand our students, ourselves, our children to grow, whether it's in learning, in spirituality, in chesed, going to minyan, whatever it is that we're pushing for, how do we know when the demand is within the range of the student, of the child, of ourselves? And what is it really just too much? You go ahead and you want your child to come along to learn with you on Shabbat afternoon. And he learned nicely during the week. And now you're going uh, to the Beit Midrash to learn. So it's beautiful for the child to learn with the father. He says, no, 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 I want to stay home and play. Why is he just being lazy and he needs a little extra push from the father? And that's exactly proper chinuch. Why is it that for him it's really too much? A child that's uh, doing a ben ismanim, child's not getting up for minyan. And uh, of course he should go to minyan. So the father pushes him to go to minyan. It's ben ismanim. He doesn't have to go to minyan during the break. Of course he should go to minyan during the break. Then you push him and push him and push him and he's resisting. So at one point do we say, of course he needs to go, and he should be pushed. And at one point do we say, for whatever reason, right now where he's at, he's just has to take his own little break. And it's between him and God. This 15, 16, 17 year old has to make his own decisions now. If you push him too much, he could break or rebel. This is an amazing question, a person from himself. He has a long day of work, he comes home, at 7 o'clock, he's with his family, Marv's at 9, and by the time he finishes with the family, and spending some time, goes to Marv, gets home at 9.30, it's quiet at home, everyone is sleeping. He could learn for an hour, two hours, three hours, who knows what? How much can he learn? He should push himself. How much is it? He just said, I just need a break, it's, it's been a long day. What is within his range and his ability? The answer to all these questions is, it's impossible to know 100%. If Moshe did not know exactly where the Jews were at, and he made a demand that it was a little bit too much, Hashem said, no, it's too much, and certainly we cannot exactly know. On the other hand, so many times in the Midbar, Moshe made demands of the people, criticized the people, and Hashem said it's true, legitimate critique. All we could do in all these cases is try to assess to the best of our abilities the potential of our students, of our children, of ourselves, and try to push the envelope to the greatest degree possible without pushing too far. So you have to push, 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 but Hashem never push over the cliff. And we have to try to assess as best as possible. It requires a lot of thought, a lot of chachma, bina dan, and of course a lot of siyat and tishmai help from above. May Hashem go ahead and help us and guide us to have just the right.
right amount, where we push demand of ourselves and others just the right amount, but never too much. Shalom.